I'm Jenny Fusillo with Major League Lacrosse, and the 2015 season is right around the corner. Today I'm talking with MLL lead analyst Evan Washburn about the Charlotte Hounds. How are you doing today, Evan? I'm doing well, Jenny. Now, Evan, in 2013, the Hounds made the championship game, but last year they fell short and finished last in the league. They struggled with their transition game and defense, but they made some big changes in trades in the offseason. How have these trades affected them, and can they return to the 2013 form? Well, it's, it was a surprise to see how far they did fall in uh, 2014 after what was a pretty magical run. But what people forget is in 2013, they finished the season, I think, 500. So they barely got into the playoffs. And then, as we know, in any sport, anything can happen. Uh, in terms of their offseason, um, I know we'll get to this, but they trade away Matt Danowski. That's really the headline. But in terms of additions that they made, Joe Sanowski and Terry Kimmerer, two great solid MLL players. They're not going to change your franchise. They're not going to take this team from the bottom to the top by any means, but they provide some stability in key positions and they provide good leadership. I think getting Garrett Thule is one that could change this team. As long as he's available, we always know for guys that are part of the U.S. military, their availability um, comes into question every summer. But from what I've heard and, and from what we've been told by head coach Mike Serino and, and talking to Garrett himself is that he thinks he's going to be able, a part of this team this summer. So that's one to me where it's like, whew, he could really help an offense and a team that, that struggled last season. Uh, I still have this team um, sixth in my preseason poll. I don't see them uh, necessarily finding their 2013 postseason game immediately. Uh, there's still a lot of question that remains about who will step up, but uh, – I do think that some of these offseason moves pro provide uh, depth uh, and, and a little bit of stability to a team that definitely had a disappointing last season. Now they're starting off their season against the Rattlers, who were one goal away from winning it all last year. And for the Rattlers, there's a lot of their players that are still playing indoor. Will Charlotte have a chance to beat them with these players missing? Sure. Uh, I think it's a great point you bring up. I mean, the, those early season games, for and especially now since our season will start even earlier, those first few weeks, uh, some of these rosters are head scratchers. And, and that's where you really see what pro, uh, programs, GMs, coaches, really, whoever's making the decisions has done their homework and utilized the supplemental draft, the player pool, things like that to try and provide a, a, a good roster for those first few weeks. Uh, not knowing exactly who will be in and out for both these teams, I definitely give Charlotte a chance. Uh, I, I do think Rochester will have Jordan Wolf though. Uh, and I think he's arguably the best player in the game right now. So having to contain him will be tough. The goaltender position is still a question in Charlotte. But for sure, they have a chance because Rochester, as you put it, will be depleted uh, week one.